Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. How to fix badly upgrowing nails? You will see in this video. Subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Let's take a look at my model's nails. They badly grow upwards. I already have a video on how to correct such nails. There are two camps. Some say that we can do a correction, while others say that we need to remove the coverage and do a new extension. So to please both, today we will try out these two methods. I will do a new extension on one hand and a correction on the other one. And we will see who's right. Which hand will look prettier? Make sure to write your opinion in the comments. Which camp are you in? On the right hand there will be the extension and we will just fix the left one. So I remove the coating up to a thin underlay. Don't leave a thick layer on the free edge. Remove almost all of it. I remove the lens on the right hand, since we're going to set up the forms. Forward position at the maximal speed. I'm working with the back of the bit. And now we can see that the layer is very thick. It means that the previous nail tech didn't remove enough base cut and just layered the coating. So now the nails look so voluminous and thick. Of course, you'd better not layer it like this. Apply it thinly. That way, the coating will look aesthetically pleasing. I remove the gel polish up to a thin underlay and use the file to remove the left base cut. I remove the lens completely, since if I leave it, the shape will go up again. Now let's do a manicure. I'm using a red diamond flame drill bit. I start processing and see that it gets clogged with the skin, since a part of trampoline nails, my model's hands are very wet, so I need to dry the skin using some talcum powder. I spread it on the folds, under the cuticle, and brush off the excess. In the reverse position, I clean out the right sides and cut the cuticle with scissors. I won't show too much here, since it is not the main point. I shape almonds on the left hand. I think this shape looks the most flattering on the upgrowing nails. Write in the comments, which shape do you think suits here the best? The pinky is the most trampoline, so I'll start filing with it. The middle finger lacks the length, as well as the thumb, so I need to extend them. I leave it like this for now, we can pull the material later. I decrease the nail plate and apply the preparatory products. A dehydrator is a must, since my model's hands are wet, and a primer on the natural nail. Apply a thin layer of the base cut, send into the lamp to cure, and do the same on the other hand. For the nails not to look that trampoline-like, we need to apply a thick layer of the material near the cuticle, but we can't use a base cut, since it will burn while curing. We will be using polygel. I put a big drop in the center of the nail. Dip the brush in the special liquid and start spreading the material, pressing it well near the cuticle. Most of the volume should be here on this new highest point. Previously, there was a mistake that the tech just applied the material without building up the architecture. When you turn the nail over, aligning with the base cut, keep an eye on where most of the material flows. On the middle finger, I pull the central part of the nail, lifting it up, and check the architecture from the side. Here are the highest point and a smooth transition to the free edge. 
the architecture is correct. We can even out the shape. The new lower parallels. Now send to cure for one minute. On the right hand, we will sculpt the nails using plastic forms. On such trampoline nails, we can often see a curved transverse arch. We need to take it into account and correctly cut out the form. Tilt the form a bit downwards, so the nail doesn't get up growing again. We can lower it down even more, since between the natural nails and our new free edge, there won't be enough material and the nails will easily break. I put a drop of poly gel closer to the free edge and shape the underlay. If the nails were shorter, I could use one drop, but today we will go in two steps. The pinky is the most top growing, so I set up the form a bit downwards. Don't lower it down too much, so the nails couldn't break. On the pinky, I'm using only one drop, since it is shorter and will cure well. I take off the forms and move on to the architecture. I apply and spread poly gel on three nails at once. Smooth out the surface and send the nails to cure in the lamp for 2 minutes. Wipe off the tacky layer and start filing. I file almonds from the top view. Then turn the hand and file the lower parallels. First comes a straight line and then a smooth lift. Make sure not to file it off completely. File the surface a little, check the thickness. The nails shouldn't be too thin, since then they may cheap. Here are the nails after filing. Here we sculpted them. Let's see. And here is strengthened. Now let's apply colors and create a design. I've mixed such a green shade and now I'm applying it with a thin brush. Cure the first layer and apply the second one. Let's do some abstract design. They've been on point lately. I make such strokes and touch them up with a thin brush and cover the rest of the nails with red. On the ring finger, I paint such a sphere that gets behind the green drop. Let's add some golden foil. To stick it, apply some base coat. You can also use the primer. I attach small fragments on the cured base coat. Cured once again, I cover up the design with a thin layer of the base coat, since I will add stamping and I may need to remove it. So let's protect our golden foil. Now let's stamp this pattern. I degrease the blade first, apply the polish, remove the axis, roll the stamp. The paint has dried a little, so there are gaps in the image. And I actually like this effect even more. Here's the result. The change is huge. Of course, extended nails look smoother, 
and more elegant. But the natural ones also look decent. Write your opinion in the comments. Would you do a new extension here or just a correction? Give a thumbs up if it was useful. Success in your work! Bye-bye!